What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to just show you all of the backpacking kitchen, kitchen, <laughs> cooking gear that I bring on backpacking trips. So we're out in the backcountry right now and this is just, yeah, the stuff that I use to make all of my meals, to make coffee and all that good stuff. So first up we have our pot and this one comes with a little lid that can also double as a frying pan. I will link to all of or most of this gear in the description below if you want like specifics. This is kind of one of the bigger pots. It's 35, well, more than 35 ounces, but I probably wouldn't put more than 35 ounces in here because then it will just like boil everywhere. <laughs> but they make a smaller version of this as well. But Nick and I are typically together in the backcountry and we share all this gear. So we opted for the bigger one. This pot we use to boil water, to make coffee, to rehydrate our meals, to make oatmeal, all that kind of stuff. We could and have put food directly in here and then cooked in it, but we don't do that very often because then we just have to clean it and that's kind of annoying. So we mostly just use this to boil water. And then this pan, again, we don't use super often, but we have made backcountry pancakes in this thing. That's really the only thing we've ever used it for. That's it. <laughs> okay, so in that pot, we kind of nestle all this other stuff that we're gonna talk about. So here I have a spork. This one is by Human Gear. I have probably eight of these in a bunch of different colors. I like this one. It's super sturdy. I've never had one break on me. I've had some other plastic ones in the past that have broken really, really easily. So these I really like and I take this a lot. We have our coffee filter, which you guys have seen in my backcountry coffee video. So I go over four different ways to make coffee in the backcountry and this is our favorite. It's just this little MSR filter and you can see we had some leftover grounds from this morning in here. But you basically just put the coffee grounds in here and then put this in your cup, which we will talk about next. This is the cup. I love this little Snow Peak double walled cup so it stays a little bit warmer, longer. And then I also have the lid that is sold separately, but then back to the coffee. So you put this in here, boil your water. Super simple and it always makes really good, strong coffee in the backcountry. Before I get too ahead of myself, put this back together, has this little lid here, and then we have a little rubber band. Put that around there to just kind of keep it all like that. Next up, we'll talk about obviously some fuel. This trip that we're on is three days for two people. So we brought this big fuel, which is plenty for kind of what we need, which we're just boiling water basically. So I'll usually bring like a smaller one if we're going on a shorter trip or a smaller one in addition to this one, if we're going on a long trip. So I kind of vary up how much I bring depending on the trip, but gotta have the fuel. To use the fuel, we have this little stove here. This is by Snow Peak. And then the handle pops out like this. And then and they all kind of slide open. And then this screws into here and we put the pot on here and just boil water and all that kind of stuff. This is really, really small and lightweight. And yeah, I love it. Next up we have bowls. Nick and I each have a bowl. These are titanium. They're pretty expensive for a bowl. <laughs> They're really, really lightweight. It, it kind of maybe looks like a lot of stuff, but when it's all packaged up nicely, it's, it's actually not that much. So we have the bowl and that's where we rehydrate oatmeal a lot in those. And then we have a little sponge here. This is for cleaning the pot if we cook in it or cleaning the bowls when we put oatmeal in there. And usually we just add a little bit of warm water and just kind of scrub it around and that works pretty well. I don't stress about cleaning very well. <laughs> we just kind of use hot water, warm water to just clean stuff. But like I said, we don't really cook a ton. We just mostly boil water and rehydrate meals. Okay, and then we have a lighter to start the stove. And we also have probably between the two of us, three or four lighters on this trip. We always bring a few of them in case you know that one runs out or something like that. We have backups. And then this last little thing here is just like a rag, but this is just kind of, oh, wait for me. We use this to kind of nestle everything together. It can be used to dry stuff. This is super absorbent. Okay, and then the last thing that I have to show you guys is this little Nalgene container here, and it has some coffee grounds in it, but this is the reusable container that we use for our coffee grounds every trip. So we'll fill these up and then just take it on our way. So a lot of this stuff fits into this little pot here. <laughs> Nick is, whoa. Um, this all, 
a lot of this little... Okay, hold on. <laughs> but all this stuff goes in the bottom of the pot here, and then that goes in there, this goes in there, and the spoon goes in there. The bowls go on top like that, and then this goes underneath. Okay, and then it goes like this. <laughs> where I have done this before. And then we have this little mesh bag and it holds it all together like this in this little package. But again, you might not need this big size of a pot and they make a smaller one. And this is just how I do it. I'm not saying that this is the only way to do backpacking cooking gear. And then like all this stuff will kind of carry separately. Okay, so that is it for my cooking gear and just how I do it. You know, everyone has their own kind of ways of doing things. And so you just kind of have to find what works for you and what you like. I used a uh, jet boil for a long time when I was backpacking a lot on my own. And I love the jet boil. It's an awesome thing. So I obviously don't have that here, but that is another thing that I have at home. So I guess this is where we, we part ways. <laughs> Hope you guys liked this video. Hope it was helpful. If you have any questions about my gear, make sure to check the description box below or just send me a comment below. I love hearing from you guys. And uh, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you in next week's video.